What's up? We got Arrow Season 5, Episode 23, Lee and You. I gotta, so first, now that we're on the season finale for Season 5, I gotta say, I love this season. Boo Season 4 this season with the absolute thrill ride. Thrill ride. I hope Season 4 was, but wasn't. Even though Season 4 of Season 5 of 20 was boring, it didn't hinder the greatness that was Season 5. Adrian Chase, amazing villain. Black Siren, amazing villain. Donnie Drake, World 2.0, but an amazing character. Renee, my boy. Diggle, my boy. Felicity, my character. I'm glad Felicity was actually great. I'm surprised Rory didn't return. R Rory should have been in the finale because he was there in season five. But, you know, Rory should have been. But he wasn't. So anyway, this episode starts off with Oliver, with Oliver going down to Argus and getting Slade. Yes, yeah, Slade is here. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, kid. And he's like, I want to help you. I want to, I need your help find Adrian Chase. And he's like, okay, kid, I'll help you. And yeah, and he's like, and then he's like, the mirror career wore off. Like, months ago, so wore off. So I'm back. So, even though I forgive myself for killing your mom. So, then Oliver, then Oliver's like, hey, I'll, th I'll take Digger Hurt. And says, well, then the guy's like, no, you're not taking him. So, Oliver's like, okay, I'll just knock you out. <clears throat> knocked him out. Didn't kill him. Just knocked him out, but he and Just knocked him out. That's what he did. He just knocked him out. Um, yeah, so anyway, oh yeah, so, so, we see them, and they're, we see Malcolm, and he's like, well, well, well Adrian Chase has got Talia al Ghul, a bunch of her students, and Black Siren, and Evelyn Sharp as well, so, we gotta go, and get them back, so, all of us decided to go, so yeah, so they find, so they find the group, and Oliver's like, uh, well, what is he doing here? And he's like, yeah. So, yeah, so they decide to go. So this is, uh, and then he's like, this is trap. And he's like, sorry, Oliver. Mr. Chase, I'm betraying you for Adrian Chase. That's what Tigger Hart and said. So he's like, come on, Slade. And he's like, I'm sorry, kid. But then he's like, and he's like, you uh, chose the winning side. He's like, assumption is the mother of all failures. And, <laughs> They get into a fight, but they lock them up. And Evelyn's like, "Why? Why are you the only one?" And she's like, "Hey, I'll come back for you when this is done." And she's like, "When this is done, you'll be dead." Evelyn's never. Yeah, this is the end of Evelyn Sharp's character. She never. We never find out what happened to her. So yeah, we aren't. She's just locked in that cage. So yeah, so they move. Well, well, full season, full season. And he's like, I don't want to talk to you. And he's like, Wow, you still have that feistiness, Miss Smoke. And then, and then Thea's like, Oliver, Oliver, Malcolm Roman, and Slade Wilson, we are orphans because Moira, they killed Moira and Robert. So he's like, Hey, I don't, I don't trust Malcolm Roman or Slade Wilson. Mm -hmm. I still think he does. And, because Slade Wilson's the best character. And so, yeah, so they decided to go. So they decide to go. Well, the others are captured by Black Siren. And they're like, hey, what, what are they? And he's like, hey. And he's like, and he's like, when you used to be a retreat before it was turned to a prison. But why would someone want to turn into a prison to begin with? Anyway, so yeah, so he's like, Renee. And he's like, Dinah. And they're like, Renee. And he's like, Hoss. So yeah, so they're like, so yeah, so Oliver gets, so yeah, so they, and Oliver's like, and Moira's like, Samantha's like, Samantha's like, Oliver, I'm fussy, I'm gonna let you guys get on that plane, because when, okay, I'm gonna let you guys get on that plane, because I'm staying, I'm going to stay here to save William, 
Yeah, but then there's a but C accidentally stamps on a landmine, and then Merlin's like, I, Merlin, like, Pff, I'm gonna sa save you by blowing up, Pff, killing both Merlin and Digger Harkness. Yes, this is the death of Malcolm Merlin. And I'm surprised they pulled this because Malcolm Merlin, we've led, we've led to believe Malcolm Merlin has de been dead before and he's survived. But how can he survive that explosion? So it's time to say goodbye and R.I.P. to Malcolm Merlin. And then Thea starts saying about how, about how even though Malcolm Merlin, even though Malcolm like lied to her, manipulated her, forced her to kill Sarah, she loves him. But how could she love someone who did all that? And he's like, hey, her dad abandoned her, left her, but she, but he still righted a bullet for her. Yeah. So okay. So the. So all of the team are still really you when they're reunited with the other team, with the gang and he's like, hey, and he's like, we didn't know that we were the only persons on here. So yeah, so he's like, here, here, he, he's like, the song, here's a new device from Curse that will override the Sonic damper. And she's like, I love that Curse. And he's like, sing Harry. And he's like, should you say black? And then Curse is like, we well, you know. Then Quentin is like, should you say Black Canary? So Daya has finally got the name and she's able to break their chain. So meanwhile, Oliver is able, able to trick by making Slade betray them again. And yeah, so let me see. Yeah. So there's like this, he's like, hey Oliver, welcome. Then, then Chase is like, hey Oliver, welcome back to Purgatory. So then, so then he's like, where's his son? Yeah, so then we get into a big, we get into a big fight between Team Arrow and Team Prometheus. The Al Ghul sisters are getting into a big battle because like her, like you left me Talia and Talia's like, oh, that you really think our dad would have really liked, uh, our dad would have liked a female Roz. Yeah, no. And he has to do a big fight. So that and then we see Black Siren and Diana, aka new Black Canary, fighting and she, and she and they both canary cry with or song string versus the canary cry. And then or Black Siren wins and she's like, You really think you could take my you really thought you could replace me? I don't like this whole thing where she's now pretending to be our laurel. That's so confusing. Why is she just randomly now pretending to be on Laurel? And then Quentin <coughs> knocks her over the head. So, yeah, so then Chase is, uh, yeah, so Chase is like, oh, your son's dead, Oliver. And he's like, you're lying because you're trying to manipulate me into killing you. But if you're right, then you are so wrong about me. So, yeah, so then Oliver jumps and jumps and jumps some more onto a big, tr onto a big yacht fight. While Oliver's like, "Hey, yeah, your friends are gonna try to get on that plane, or what they think is a plane, because the, because the plane has been destroyed." So he's like, "Oliver, Chase has released bombs on the island." So yeah, so William's gotta be traumatized by this. So he's like, so he's like, you'll end up with. You'll you'll be all alone without Samantha or Felicity, and then and Adrian poof, shoots himself in the head, which and he's like no Adrian, and then poof, big explosion from Lee and you, everyone. Is there anything I'm missing? So yeah, so we never find out what happened to Evelyn because the actress never returns to the show. In the final season, era season eight, she was meant to return, but scheduling issues caused her not to come back. So we never find out what happens to her. The rest of the characters are fine because they're main characters, but Evelyn, she never found out if she survived the Lee and You explosion because the last time we saw her, she was in the cage that Oliver put her in. And he's like, "I'm gonna come back for you." When this is all over, and she's like, when this is all over, you'll be dead. So, is she the one who's dead? We'll never find out, because the actress was too busy doing other stuff to come back to confirm her character's fate. So, I guess Evelyn's in the air on whether she's dead or alive.
because we never find out. So, as I said before, I find this season really fantastic. It's one of my favorite seasons of Arrow so far, compared to season two. Season two and season five are my favorite seasons of Arrow, because Prometheus and Death, it was really cool when the, where Death, where, where, it was really cool when, when Deathstroke was like, hey, this place reminds me, it was like, this place is kind of familiar, and he's like, for shadow it was. And I cannot say anymore about how much I love season five. It's great. It's a good season. But now, after this, we go into season six of Arrow. Which, we'll have to see if it's good or not. Because I remember some bits of the season and some bits are not that good. But it's based on the rewatch ability. Because the rewatch ability is... I don't remember as much as I did when I watched the season, so it could change me. Or it could be the same that it wasn't that good as a season. But anyway, that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time for some more Arrow. See you next time.